So I've made several of these and they're great to give as presents. It's made out of different kinds of wood and I put on it. The best thing about memories is making them and add twine and clothespins so that you can hang pictures on them. So our first step is to stain the wood gray. I found that the different types of wood accept stain differently. So the baseboards, the backboards, all I had to do was put the stain on and pretty quickly wipe it off with paper towels. And then the smaller pieces that I put the lettering stencil on, I had to leave it on for a little bit longer. And make sure that you wear gloves while staining. I wanted kind of a distressed look on the wood. So whenever I wiped it off with the paper towels, I would kind of wipe it a little harder in certain areas and a little not in others. And there were a few areas that were a little lighter than I wanted. So I would reapply the stain again and quickly wipe it off with the paper towel all over again. To add even more of a distressed look, I used sandpaper at 120 and 150 grit to get more of the textured distressed look I was looking for. Next, I had to cut my smaller boards to fit the spaces that I wanted. And I didn't want even boards that were all the same size across my backing so I wanted them to kind of be staggered in different sizes based on the words that were on them and so I would cut them different sizes. If you're wondering about my blue tape I always put blue tape on my cut line so that I get a clean cut without any frame. I'm going to use a jigsaw to make my cuts and I'm going to use a special blade that's made for wood in a clean cut. Make sure you practice safety when using these types of tools. Next, I'm going to apply my stencil words to my boards. I'm going to tape them on so that they don't move while I outline them. Now I'm going to start my dandelions. I use a roll of tape to get perfect circles so that I have an outline of where I want my dandelion flower puff to be. And I'm going to draw them on with a white acrylic paint marker. To make the dandelion, I just make the circle with pencil with my roll of tape, and then I go back with my white paint marker and I make little tiny like square lines. And then I take my paint marker and draw a little line from each little square all the way down to the center. I switch back and forth many times from stenciling words to doing dandelions just to give the project time to dry in between sections that I did. So I did one of my phrases in white and all the rest in black. So you see best things in white, just to kind of give it an offsetting. And I really liked the way it turned out. When I originally made the circle for my second dandelion, I made it way too close to the other one and they would overlap. So I ended up having to make the second one taller. Thank you. 
I added little grass and tiny little flower buds at the bottom, like all the dandelions had flown off of them, so they were empty and bare. I thought it was really cute. And then I have some flyaways that I put randomly throughout the boards. Next, we're gonna flip the boards over and apply some E6000 glue between each board so that they don't come apart. I used a paper towel to wipe off the excess E6000. Now I'm gonna apply two support boards, one at the top that has two holes where I'll put twine that we can hang it with, and then one at the bottom. Now we get to attach our phrase boards to the back boards, and I do this using hot glue. I use twine to wrap around the boards so that we're going to put clothes pins on them and that's where they'll hang the pictures. So I pre-drilled holes in the top board and this is where I'm going to put twine in, tie a knot in the bottom of it so it won't come back out, and to the other side so that we have kind of a little hook to hang it on. And there you go. Here's your new most favorite gift you've ever given. Complete.